our first look at the 2024 DT lineup, let's put a spotlight on the Ram 1500 Tradesman Warlock. Now, while the DS Classic Rams make their exit, the Warlock namesake gets passed on to the 2024 lineup, which upgrades your tradesman with capabilities and electronics that you would be looking for in a daily driver. But if you're looking for an amazing deal on a work pickup right now, there's only one place to shop if you're from Canada, and that's Peel Chrysler. We have a ton of 2023 Ram SXT work trucks that we have to clear out. So while these start dropping down, that means even bigger savings on 23 for you. So make sure you hit that link below. Today, I'm going to give you a look at the Tradesman Warlock build. We have on display here so I can give you the full breakdown of the new trim in terms of engine and cab options, how the Warlock package transforms your Ram pickup, and finally we'll finish with the top group to tag onto your Warlock to ensure your bed is fully equipped for use. So continuing from 2023, the Bighorn and the Tradesman are the only Ram DTs for 2024 that you can get with a quad cab, which means three quarter doors and a six foot four box. So another thing that you have to keep in mind is for the Tradesman, you can only get the 40-20-40 bench seat for the front so this either comes in cloth or it comes in vinyl but there's no bucket seat option unfortunately but this is a great option because it does still give you that center storage while allowing another passenger to sit up front when we're talking about engines the two classic engine choices dominate the 24 lineup as always with the standard 3.6 liter pentastar vvt v6 engine that can tow up to 7,460 pounds when properly equipped your other option is the tried and true 5.7 liter hemi vvt v8 engine that allows you to tow up to 11,000 410 pounds. Both engines come backed by an 8-speed automatic transmission and include fuel saver technology and e-torque mild hybrid technology system that blends performance enhancing and efficient technologies while providing supplemental torque of 90 pound-feet on the V6 and 130 pound-feet on the Hemi. Now the Tradesman is meant for, you guessed it, a Tradesman because it doesn't really have all of the creature comforts and connectivity that you'd pick up say from one of the other higher trims. The new Warlock tags on a number of items that increase its capabilities along with a few basic electronic elements too, to help transform it into a better daily driver. Before we hop inside, let's take a look at the exterior features. And no, I'm not just talking about the exterior Warlock decal. We are talking about the one inch raised ride height on the Tradesman Warlock, along with these OWL all-terrain off-roading tires that we see here that make it a look that's more akin to its elder, say the Rebel, but has a much better price point. With fog lamps, an e-locker rear axle, and front and rear performance tuned shock absorbers. The Warlock takes off-roading capabilities one step further from its base counterpart and includes fuel tank, transfer case, front suspension, and steering gear skid plates. When we head inside, one addition that comes from the Warlock package are your Mopar front and rear all-weather floor mats. The rest of the Warlock features though are all about increasing your electronics and your connectivity. With a seven inch full color and cluster customizable display and an 8.4 inch touchscreen with Uconnect 5 and Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto, your tradesman gets a nice refresh to its otherwise dated interior screen design. Now obviously you can get your singular items added on like your running boards and your class four hitch receiver, but I wanted to finish this video highlighting the popular bed utility group as most customers looking to purchase a Warlock will probably be prioritizing these items included to ensure maximum bed use which includes four adjustable Mopar cargo tie-down hook, pickup box lighting, a Mopar deployable bed step and of course a Mopar spray and bed liner. Well that's been your first look at the 2024 DT Ram 1500 but I've got a little preview coming of the top trims that we're going to touch on and then of course break down each one individually. So drop a comment, leave a like, let me know which Ram you want to see first because nobody beats a deal from Peel.